the small town of Zionsville, Indiana, had always been known for its quaint charm and friendly community. But this Halloween night, something sinister lurked beneath the surface, waiting to send shivers down the spines of its unsuspecting residents. The autumn leaves rustled in the brisk October wind as darkness descended upon Zionsville. Jack-o'-lanterns illuminated porches with their eerie grins, and children donned costumes, eager for a night of candy and spooky tales. But as the moon rose higher in the sky, an eerie feeling settled over the town. A group of teenagers, including Sarah, a brave soul with an insatiable curiosity, decided to explore the old, abandoned Zionsville mansion on the outskirts of town. Locals had always whispered about the mansion being haunted, but no one had dared enter it for years. The mansion was an imposing structure, its once grand facade now crumbling and decayed. Ivy clung to the crumbling walls, and the windows were dark and foreboding. As the group of teenagers approached, their flashlights cast eerie shadows that danced upon the twisted trees in the yard. The front door creaked open with a spine-chilling groan, as if beckoning them inside. The air was heavy with a musty scent of age, and cobwebs clung to the walls like ghostly drapes. The group made their way through the dimly lit hallways, their footsteps echoing ominously. As they delved deeper into the mansion's depths, they began to hear faint whispers in the darkness, voices that seemed to emanate from nowhere. Sarah felt a chill run down her spine, but she pressed on, her curiosity driving her forward. Suddenly, the group found themselves in a grand, cobweb-covered ballroom. An ornate chandelier hung from the ceiling, casting eerie shadows that seemed to come to life. The whispers grew louder, and the temperature dropped, making their breath visible in the cold air. A voice echoed through the room, a haunting, ethereal voice that sent shivers down their spines. You should not have come here, it said, its words filled with a malevolent tone. Panicked, the group turned to leave, but the door they had entered through had vanished. The room seemed to close in around them, the walls pulsating with an otherworldly energy. The whispers grew louder, and the chandelier swung wildly, casting grotesque shadows that danced along the walls. One by one, the teenagers disappeared into the darkness, their terrified screams echoing through the mansion. Sarah was the last to remain, her flashlight flickering as she frantically searched for an escape. The voice spoke again, closer this time, its chilling words sending terror coursing through her veins. You are mine now, forever. With a final, blood-curdling scream, Sarah vanished into the shadows, leaving behind only the echo of her fear. The Zionsville mansion had claimed its victims, and the town of Zionsville would forever be haunted by the chilling events of that Halloween night. As the years passed, the mansion remained abandoned, a place of dread and whispers. Locals learned never to speak of what had happened there, and the sinister presence that had taken root in Zionsville, Indiana, continued to lurk in the darkness, waiting for the next unfortunate soul to stumble upon its malevolent secrets. Years after the terrifying events in the Zionsville mansion, the town's eerie reputation persisted. However, one fateful day, a new opportunity arose for the old mansion. Kara Kond, a local real estate agent, saw potential in the property's unique history and decided to take on the challenge of selling it. As Halloween approached once again, Kara worked diligently to prepare the mansion for potential buyers. She organized a thorough cleanup bringing in contractors to repair the crumbling structure and restore it to its former grandeur. The once haunted mansion now sparkled with a fresh coat of paint, and the overgrown yard had been transformed into a beautifully landscaped garden. Kara's efforts had paid off, and the mansion was ready for its first open house. She hosted it on a crisp October afternoon, and despite the lingering rumors about the place, a curious buyer named Daniel showed genuine interest. Daniel had recently moved to Zionsville, Indiana, with his family and was searching for a unique home that could accommodate his growing family. The moment he set foot in the renovated mansion, he was captivated by its old-world charm and the history that seemed to seep from its walls. Kara, eager to close the deal, offered Daniel a special Halloween discount, a price that was too good to resist. With a handshake, they sealed the deal and Daniel and his family moved into the mansion just in time for Halloween night. That Halloween, 
the mansion no longer echoed with sinister whispers or malevolent shadows. Instead, it was filled with laughter, as Daniel's children dressed up in their costumes and went trick or treating in the neighborhood. The grand ballroom that had once been a place of terror was now the site of a lively Halloween party, where the town's residents gathered to celebrate the holiday. As the years passed, the mansion became a beloved fixture in Zionsville, known for its rich history rather than its haunting past. Kara Kond, the fearless real estate agent, had turned a place of nightmares into a place where new memories were made, and the town embraced its transformation. In the end, the Zionsville mansion's dark past became nothing more than a distant legend, a story told around campfires on Halloween night to thrill and entertain, but no longer a source of fear for the town's residents.